the subsection 3 of the section 13 says that the council shall issue to those who have satisfied the council that they have attained the necessary standards of proficiency in the law, that they have obtained adequate practical experience in the law, and that they are otherwise qualified to practice as lawyers, a certificate to that effect, herein after referred to as a qualifying certificate. Yes. There's a lot in this That's particular mouthful, subsection. Yes, I know, mm -hmm. but there's even more um, than what we have read. If you read that together with section three mm. of the Act, okay. which also says qualifications for enrollment, mm. a person shall be qualified for enrollment if he satisfies the General Legal Council that he is of good character mm. and that he holds a qualifying certificate granted under part two of this Act by the General Legal Council. And a person may, at the discretion of the General Legal Council, be enrolled if satisfied if the council is satisfied that, or if he satisfies the council that he is of good character and that he is qualified to practice in any country having a sufficiently analogous system of law and that his qualifications are such as to render him suitable for enrollment and fulfill such conditions, whether as to status or proficiency as may be prescribed. The subsection three mm. is also on there. This is the one that concerns what we call the post call. Okay. Particular. These are people, Ghanaians and sometimes non Ghanaians, who have been enrolled in the UK to practice law as, if you like, barristers mm -hmm. or as solicitors. In, in two subsections, in two of the subsections, it begins with that he is of good character. Yes. <clears throat> that he is of good character. That's right. So it's not only about the academics. No. So if you notice the. Um, uh, the advertisement that we issued mm -hmm. for the admission of um, post course students this year, I think just a couple of days ago in the daily graphic, mm -hmm. we highlighted that as well. You need to establish by provable um, documentation that not only, for example, for post call, have you been called to say the English bar, okay. but your name continues to be in their role of lawyers as a person fit to practice in that country, or in the case of the solicitors, there is an analogous documentation certified by them that you're a person of good character. In addition, you need to get police attestation in terms of your, your, your character um, in relation to whether you have committed any offense, and especially if you have been convicted of an offense, say dishonesty, right. fraud, mm. and there is this strange one that they call moral turpitude. Right. That one is at large, mm. but I think subjectively or generally objectively, you can determine whether you are a person who does not suffer the disability of immoral turpitude.